Hello MP Mini Delta owners. This video is going to be about how to update the motion controller firmware on your Monoprice MP Mini Delta 3D printer. Go to the MP Mini Delta wiki at mpminidelta.com. And we're going to see how do we tell which firmware versions we're on. To see if we need to update or not. So first step would be is to turn it off if it's not ready. Turn it on and you'll see the down here is the firmware versions. Just as we have here, we're on version 37 in the video or on the display there. And you have an annotated version here. It's a motion controller firmware is this first one. In this example is version 40. And the UI controller is version 113.2. So go back to the home page. Scroll down to firmware. Click on motion firmware. Here's instructions in the download link. First we need to format included micro SD card. So right click on the drive, select format, file system drop down, and you need to select FAT32, allocation unit size, we must select 512 for Mac owners and, and Linux. You guys might have to do it through terminal. I tried doing it myself on Mac, couldn't figure out how to set this size here. Okay, we can go down and change your volume label if you want. I'm just going to leave it alone. It's recommended to uncheck quick format so you can do a full format. Check for bad sectors, but I've already done that. And for the sake of the video, I'm going to leave it at quick format. Okay, click start. If you haven't already copied all your files off your SD card, you want to do that before you click OK here. Because once we do this, all those files are going to be gone. I've already done that, so I'm going to click OK. This process is quick. We need to do the quick format. The full format will take a minute or two. Okay, click OK. Close. So now we're done with the optional formatting steps. We need to download the file files, zip file with already done that. And get rid of these, just we're starting fresh again. Okay. Open those files and extract them. Use 7-zip or whatever you have installed, WinRAR. Just going to use Windows. Select that guy over here. And extract the contents. Now open up that folder. This is the actual firmware file. This little flag file lets the printer know that when we turn on the computer, or not the computer, but the printer, it's going to start to, it needs to look for this file, or for a firmware file to proceed with the update. I'm going to copy those onto the micro SD card. Paste them there. Done with that now. Go ahead and right click on the drive. Go to eject. Safely remove it. That takes us down over to this step here. I'm going to insert the card into the slot there. Now I've turned off. I've turned it off and do it either before or after. Just we need to make sure it's off and then turn it on. This little light here is going to flash. And when it's you can see right here, firmware numbers up here. We're now on 40. And that light stops. You do it again just, just to show the process again. 
sometimes if this light won't flash, just goes straight to the just flashes once, goes to the boot screen or the menu. You may have to do this, turn it off and on a few times to get it to work. And you'll notice it's locked up. It's the way it's supposed to be. So go ahead and turn it off. Move the card. You need to get those firmware files that we just put on there, take them off. Otherwise, the machine will continuously update. We're going to go ahead and delete these. Let's get her done lock, being locked up for a second. There we go. Delete those. And you don't have to delete them if you go ahead and format, which I'm going to do, just to put it back to the card's default settings. Let's get out of there. Right click, format. We don't need to worry about this because we're going to restore the defaults. You can go ahead and choose quick format. Start. There's nothing there to erase, so we don't care. OK. OK again. Close. Now you want to copy all the contents if you want them. I don't have any readily available. So I've got another card that does have some stuff on there. So we're going to head, just going to eject that. And we're going to pretend that this card I'm putting in right now is the one that's got on there. So got the card here. As you can see, the, yeah. see everything back to working. ahead of ourselves. Go ahead and put that micro SD card in there. Go back to the files. See all our files are listed now. Go ahead and exit. I'm going to show another way to update the firmware. This doesn't work all the time. Sometimes it does. We're going to get ourselves 16 gigabyte card. Let's see, can we see it there? Yeah. Let's try this one. Anyways, it is a 16 gigabyte card. Here's the package, Kingston. I guess that's what I get for not having autofocus on. Let put that card in the slot. Oh, just so we can see what version we were on again. version 40. But I'm going to go ahead and update to version 41 which is more of a test build so that won't be available. Let's just show you how to update using the print menu. So here's our 16 gigabyte card we're reading from. I didn't change the format just however it came out of the package. Go down this, the firmware, this FC update file does not have to be on there if we're doing this option. This one just doesn't, is not as reliable. The only firmware file that needs to be on there is the firmware.bin. Just go ahead and select it. Goes to updating. All goes well. Show the version number that we have here, version 41. So now it's locked up again. It's okay, we just have to. Power cycle printer. Back to stone 41. Push that card in there. And we're ready to go. So that takes us all the way through. It's kind of an optional. It's you want to restore the firmware defaults, just use M502 to restore them, M500 to save those. You must have to do M500 
before you power off the machine, otherwise it'll go back to what what settings were there previously before putting in the M502. And then you can run Auto-Tune, or you can input your old PID values. This little page just gives more information how you can restore your default firmware settings. But other than that, we updated the firmware. Many more steps we went through just now than it takes. It only, it only takes uh, two minutes. So, I think we're done. Uh, you know what? One more thing. Go ahead and downgrade again just to see the process. That's got version 37, and we're there, version 37. Then turn it off. I'm going to put version 41 now from the old version 37 with the 16 gigabyte card. It seems to be working. Version 41. So it seems like a 16 gigabyte card works with the old firmware. Okay, cat. And now we are done.